All right, so for uh, Profi OS uh, 4.3, uh, when Frederick gets that update done, um, I have a new prop file um, with the button configuration. So um, it's, uh, it's based on the default. Um, in addition, I'm using SA22C's volume menu. Um, and then I've also added now that new multi-blast functionality. Um, and I also added a new um, kind of a prevention um, so typically with the default button, it's just you click power to turn it on, you click power to turn it off. Um, but I added that if you're swinging your blade and you hit the power button, it actually won't turn off. Um, so I'm not particularly skilled, but I know a lot of you use your sabers and do a lot of tricks with them. Um, and one of the things that people don't particularly, um, that usually they switch button configurations is because if you accidentally hit the power while you're spinning um, or, you know, doing any of the, the fast movements, um, that it would turn your blade off. So now um, I've just added uh, basically just a, a check. So when you're swinging your blade, if you hit the power button, it actually won't turn it off. Um, now, if you're just moving it slightly, it'll turn off. So it has to have some speed to it. It's basically similar to the multi-blast parameter that triggers the blast. Um, but so that's an addition as well. Um, so there's going to be a uh, Saber FET263 buttons config file in 4.3 that'll let you choose this setup. Um, but I figured I'd run through the buttons. Um, you know, most of them are, are similar to, or, or the same as the default, but figured I'd show it. So first thing is I am using SA22C's volume menu. So when your blade is off, um, you'll hold your aux button. So my aux button's on the side, my power button's here on this saber. So hopefully I'm showing that. So I'll hold and release. Now the volume menu will use either your color change menu, uh, begin and end sounds, or a beep if you don't have that. So if your font has the, the CC, begin CC end sounds it would use after the menu. Now once I'm in the volume menu with the blade off, the uh, aux button, each click will be a 10% volume down um, from what's set in your config. So, And that'll get softer um, and each beep is, is registering it. And then while you're in the venue, uh, volume menu, if you use the power button, it'll actually volume up. And I'm going to leave it there just because the saber gets pretty loud when I talk. And then to get out of the volume menu, you just hold aux and release. And then that's my CCN sound. Um, so now that's the volume menu. Um, and then with this saber, while off, um, the uh, if you click aux, it'll go to the next preset. Um, and then if you uh, hold aux and press power, it'll go back a preset. So that's my, uh, so those are the buttons when it's off. Um, and then to ignite, you just hit your power button. And then while you're uh, ignited, um, the aux button is blast. So just every click um, with regular setup will be a blast. Now, if you want to use multi-blast, you're going to hold your aux button and release it. And you'll hear a blast sound, but you won't actually see it on the blade. So now that just tells me that I'm in the blast, the multi-blast mode. Now in multi-blast mode, what's going to happen is instead of having to hit the button each time, each swing of your blade is a deflection. So if you were going, if you're having a multiple blast come at you, instead of having to keep clicking the aux button for blast, in multi-blast mode, each swing is going to trigger that. Um, and then to get out of it, you can either enter um, a different mode like a lockup or a lightning block that'll stop it, or you're just going to click the aux button, and you'll get a final blast. But then it turns multi-blast off. Um, and hopefully the blast sounds. I did lower the volume, so hopefully you're hearing the blast sounds. Um, and then in the uh, then of course clash is clash. So any clash will tr uh, trigger the clash effect. Um, and then we also have let, uh, regular lockup. So lockup is going to be holding aux and the clash. And then this is the responsive lockup. So that lockup section moves as you move your blade. And then you let it go. So when you let go of aux, it will end the lockup. Um, we do have lightning block um, in OS4. So with lightning block, you're going to hold your power button and click your aux button. And that will activate the lightning block. And again, you can control that and focus that lightning. And then when you release the power button, it will um, go back to normal. 
Um, we have uh, stab is just a forward thrust and a clash. So uh, th this is the stab effect. And then if you want to do melt, which is like cutting through a door, you're going to hold your aux button and then do the stab effect. Oops. There we go. And then in melt, if you turn your hilt, you'll change the temperature of that material. So it'll go from a yellow to an orange to a red. And then when you release the aux button, it will end it. Um, and then any... Um, any of the blades that have uh, color change, go into the color change menu while it's on. You're going to hold the aux button and click power. And then this one has the color wheel. So with the color wheel, once you're in color change mode, all you have to do is rotate your hilt and it will change the color. And then you can pick any color you want, but I'm going to try to get that to red. And then when you're at the color you want, you just click power to get out of that. Um, but you can pick any of the colors. Now, if you use color change direct, which is a define in your config file, every time you do the color change mode, um, so if you hold aux and click power, it will change to the next color. So for effects, particularly like the pull to the darkness, a lot of those dual phase effects, um, if, you, if you enable the click to change, um, which is uh, color change direct as a define, every time you hold aux and click power, it'll go ahead one color. Um, so that's the only difference there. Um, but those are the primary controls. Um, oh, the other one would be track. So um, I forgot to show that. So if you retract your blade, so, oh, let me show that. So all you have to do is click power to retract. But as I said in the beginning, if I'm swinging my blade and I click it, of course I was at the top of my swing. So if you... Click it while you're moving. Now, if you, like I was doing before, if I was at the top of my swing and changing direction and I hit it, it's going to still turn it off because it's set, it's at the moment you hit it, if it's standing still, it will then power off. Um, so it's not perfect, but it's an improvement. Um, but that's just another ability. Um, but then the other one finally is your track. So if you have a track defined while the blade is off, you're going to hold and release power. And that will start your track. And then to end the track, you just hold and release power again. And that'll end the track. And I missed force. Uh, there's so many features, it's almost impossible to keep track. Um, so while your blade is on, if you want to do your force effect, now we do have the new actual visual force effects also in the library. If you choose them, they would run. Um, but to do force effect, you would hold and release your power button while it's on. It's very low, unfortunately, because of the volume. But that was my force effect. Um, so those are the controls for the for my FET263 button config. Um, so if you want to use that, um, Dimitri's already updated his. Matt's uh, SA22C is updating his. Um, I believe both of them are going to also include multi-blast. Their files also have the one button config. So I don't really have any one button savers. Um, so all of my the button control for mine is all just for two button. Um, so if you are using one button, you have a cho you'll have a choice between Dimitri's or SA22C's. Um, and then if you just prefer the original, of course, you can always use the original. Um, but just wanted to kind of give a run through of that. Um, so uh, OS 4.3 should be coming shortly. I know Frederick's working on a few other things. He'll make the official announcement. The library will get an update. There's a few syntax changes. Um, so I'll have to kind of update that. Um, and in that 4.3, when he releases that to beta, that's where this button file will be available. So it's not there yet. As soon as he gets that 4.3 buttoned up um, and released... Um, as a zip file, this will be available for you to add. Um, so, more to come.